Πριν από λίγα χρόνια ο Μισελ Φράγκο μας χάρισε την ταινία μετά τη Λουτσία, μία μελέτη πάνω στο μπούλινγκ στα σχολεία με τη νέα του δημιουργία, η κόρη της Απρίλ που έκανε πρεμιέρα στα φεστιβάλ Κανόν, το Ρόντο και Σαν Σεβαστιάν μπαίνει ακόμα πιο βαθιά στα άδυτα των σχέσεων μητέρας και κόρης. Ο σκηνοθέτης μίληξε στον Αλέξανδρο Λιζάρδο για τη νέα του ταινία και ευχαρίστησε προκαταβολικά το ελληνικό κοινό. Hello to all the people, to all my friends in Greece. I'm Michel Franco, the director of uh, Las Hijas de Abril, April Zotter. Uh, I'm glad you're about to see the movie. Uh, I'm, I'm now in Toronto, also about to screen it. Uh, it's a movie I'm very proud about. Um, I hope you like it as much as Después de Lucia, as much as Chronic. Uh, uh, it, it's a very different film than my previous, and at the same time you're gonna uh, see my, my voice, my presence there. Uh, it's a movie about uh, mother and daughter's relationships, uh, and I'm always trying to do something uh, challenging but also respectful to the audience, something I would like to, to be challenged with if I was on the audience. Uh, I know Greek... Uh, Uh, audience are also used to, to very powerful stories from your own uh, directors. So I guess you're gonna enjoy this. Thank you very much. <laughs> Working with Emma is a pleasure. Uh, she's she's very serious about acting and and she's very committed so i guess as long as she finds the same on a director which is clearly my case here it's a pleasure for both of us i think emma uh, could be a nightmare if a director wants to take it easily you know she's very intense and i like that i need that because otherwise i also get disappointed i don't know exactly why i wrote it or where it's coming from And then when I'm writing it, it has to make sense uh, the way a character reacts towards the other. But it's got to be also uh, a situation that's uh, something special, something different that we haven't seen in any other movie or in any book. So it's come, you know, it's coming really from my imagination. Although it calls my attention a lot the amount of uh, people who refuse to accept that they're aging and the extreme things they can do out of that.